And now it's time for a video you've all been requesting, a Hackintosh update. I did indeed get Mac OS installed on this machine, so we're going to go over that and I'm going to show you what this thing can do with Mac installed on it. Hope you all remember this machine. This is the Hackintosh machine I built using a Chinese X99 motherboard. I did eventually get the system to install on it. One of the big problems was, for some reason, the video card, or rather, uh, Mac OS, that is, didn't like using the monitor I have over here. Probably because I have it going through, like, a, uh, DVI to VGA adapter, or through a VGA splitter, or through a capture card, or something like that. Like, there was a whole mix of things that could be wrong, but, as you may have seen in a previous video, this machine works perfectly fine using literally any other monitor. So what I'm probably going to be using today is the Apple Studio Display Monitor. It's not a 1080p monitor that this machine could totally output at, but it's at least an Apple monitor, and it works fine, so I'm going to use that here, and we're going to go through this machine and run some benchmarks and see what it can do. I also found out that through a lot of Russian websites, there are custom BIOSes for this that can do some overclocking. So I think I'm going to try to install one of those and then benchmark after that and see what we get. Hey there, as you can see I got the machine up and running. This is an Apple Studio display. Unfortunately, the resolution on this screen is not that big, and also unfortunately I cannot do a capture from this machine. Like I showed in the install video, for some reason my capture hardware does not like this machine, or macOS doesn't like the monitor or capture hardware or something, and so I tried even installing like OBS on the machine, but A, I figured it messed up the benchmarks, and B, for some reason, it can't properly encode on the video card. So we're just going to do this. So one benchmark people like to see is Cinebench. The Cinebench R20. The window's only cut off because this is only at 1024 by 768 on this monitor, but that hopefully shouldn't have any effect on the actual Cinebench run. And here you can see that this is a Xeon E5 1630v3, which is 4-core, 8-thread, at apparently 3.691 gigahertz, 3.7 gigahertz. This is Mac OS 10.15.4, and the video card is a uh, RX 460. So let's go ahead and run this. See what this looks like on this machine. go. I can move this window over so you can see what it's doing. Up at the top you can see that all the CPU cores are at 100%. We're running at about 45 degrees Celsius which is, which is pretty nice I'd say for uh, for running all the cores at 100%. So I guess we're just gonna gonna wait until this uh, till this finishes. Alright, and we are done with that. It took just about 3-4 minutes to finish, and we got a score of 1687. I don't know if that's good or bad. Looks on this chart here, it's a, a bit less than a 77K. 77K has 2420, and this is 1687. Go ahead and close out of that. No, because I have a previous benchmark that I ran before already saved, so I don't need to save that one, and I guess another bench I could run in here is something like um, Geekbench, which is in tryout mode. Alright, so we could look at our CPU here in Geekbench and see what we get. I'm not going to make you watch this entire thing, I'll just uh, cut back to the video once this is finished. Alright, and Geekbench finished running on our CPU after about two and a half, three minutes, and here are our scores. Single core, 704, multi-core, 3611. So I don't have any information about how to compare that to other systems, but it seems pretty good to me, right? Those are big numbers, right? Well, I guess we'll find out. Um, after I can install a BIOS on here that I can hopefully overclock, we could find out if we can bump these numbers up any higher. So for now, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go and find one of those BIOSes, flash it on here, and then see if we can bump up any of these numbers, and then we can try some game benchmarks. 
Well, hello there, and hopefully the camera is in the same spot as it was before, since I just went through and updated the BIOS on, th on this machine. It's one that hopefully supports an overclock. Though, I think the problem is this CPU doesn't support an overclock. Even though I installed unlocked BIOS, it should be able to overclock anyway. I don't think the 1630 supports an overclock, because after bumping up the multiplier from the base of 37 to 40, in Cinebench we still get the exact same speed, or exact same score rather, and it's still showing the exact same speed on the CPU, so I don't think I can actually overclock this machine just due to the CPU that I'm using. If I wanted to overclock, I'd have to get a different CPU, and I don't really feel like doing that. I like this chip, it's fine, so I guess I'll have to stick with 3.7 gigahertz instead of overclocking to anything higher. So now I think I'm going to go open up Steam, see what games I can install on Mac, and see which ones have a benchmark, and run a few of them, and see what happens. Hey guys, and, well, we have Rocket League running, and as you can see, I have a different monitor. It's because this is actually a 1080p monitor, so I can run this game at 1080p, instead of running it at a lower resolution on the other monitor, as cool as that monitor is. And uh, as you can see, Rocket League is running perfectly fine. All the settings are actually on high, and it's running around 62 FPS, which is fine, because it's only a 60Hz monitor anyway. So I think we're doing just good. I think I see a little bit of tear screen tearing here. I wonder if I turn on VSync if that will have any real effect here. Let's go ahead and turn VSync on. Apply that. Now with VSync on, you can see that we're running at obviously 60 FPS, since it's a 60 Hz monitor. We also lose that screen tearing, and the game is running just fine. Looking through my games list, I don't really have any of the games that people use to like benchmark and stuff or anything too heavily graphically intensive. At least not on Mac anyway. But anyway, the video card is just an RX 460, so it's going to run as well as any other RX 460 would. And as you saw from Cinebench, it's a little bit lower than a um, i7-7700K. So it should run about what you'd expect from the hardware in here. The fact that it's running Mac has no real effect on the benchmarks or anything. Also, I just forget how to play this game. <laughs> there we go, it's like jump, but I'm really shitty at this game, but playing this game isn't the point. The point of this computer runs just fine. Though I didn't build this computer for games, I built it because, well, I don't know why. I just kind of felt like it. I just wanted a Hackintosh machine. My original gaming PC used to be a Hackintosh, but I don't know, I haven't really felt like doing that in a while. It was way too much work to try to, like, dual or triple boot that machine, since that computer runs Linux native uh, normally, and then I use Windows just for certain games that don't run on Linux. Unfortunately, Rocket League is no longer supported on Mac or Linux. I guess not online, anyway. Like, obviously it's here and I'm using it, but I don't know if it'll get any more updates or anything, so... Oh well. Anyway. I'm not sure what else I can talk about with this machine. If there's anything else you want to know, you can um, just let me know and I'll make a video on it. Um, I'll put links in the description to the BIOS that I'm using. Uh, I can also upload any of the um, EFI drivers that I use to get this thing installed. Um, if you want an actual like install tutorial, I'm sure I can make one or I can find a good one that I can show you guys. So let me know what else you want to see about this machine, but for now, it's running perfectly fine. So, thank you guys for watching.